I do properties. I, I develop properties. I buy lands. I build houses. I started uh, building houses in 2007. The way before them, started buying lands. I do quite a lot of, you know, buying lands and just having them there. And I can tell you, I know what it is to put your whole energy, your whole everything in building a house. And it takes so much, especially the other day, I, 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 you know, out of frustration, I did a tweet and I was like, why does it take so long for somebody to get your permit? They will frustrate you when you're trying to do it the right way. They will frustrate you because a lot of times these people are looking for bribes. They're looking for lands that are not working and all of that. Uh, in in 2000 and maybe 17 or 18, uh, they brought a land for me to buy. Uh, the land was, but it was this thing, um, what do you call it? A playground in Abuja. And then the person was like, oh no, you can just, you know, you go and meet the people that are there. They convert it for you and then you, you to residential one. And I looked at the person and I say, oh, I won't be able to sleep knowing that myself that I have denied children a place that they can play, uh, they can play in and I've gone to build houses there. But why, why am I saying all of this? I saw this video where an estate, they said the whole estate, the houses in an estate were demolished. Yes, sometimes people, there are a lot of fraudulent behavior. There are a lot of fraud in real estate business. I've always said one thing. If Nigerian government really want to fight corruption, they should check real estate and businesses because there are a lot of businesses that are fronts. I've been in business uh, in, for 24 years. And I know that. And I'm like, check everywhere, everything. You'll be able to see there are some businesses, you see them, they are not really doing businesses. They are doing something. Else. There's one I always give example of. In Abuja, where, where we buy doors, we used to buy security doors and all of that from them. They were the ones in 2015 when a, a particular uh, a plane was uh, was seized in, in South Africa or the Seja Force uh, plane. Those people, that company, where the company that we bought, we usually used to buy these doors from. I'm like, so there we are thinking they are just doing doors. Their fellow business people will be thinking it's just the meanwhile they were into uh, other things, gone running and what, what, whatever and, and stuff like that. So you see a lot of business. There are some business you will see, you will look at the shop, you see how much they are paying per rent and what they are selling. They still know they right. You'll be wondering. You understand? And sometimes they, they crush prices. I've been a victim of that thing. You, you Your goods like this, you see some people, because maybe they want to clean their money or whatever, they will just predatory price. They will just cut down the price. You will not be strong. You'll be, you'll be forced to sell your things at a loss. But that's not what I'm here to talk about, really. Is this whole real estate, estate thing. So, fine. There are certain issues where maybe the land is not one that they're supposed to build on, or it's, it's a swamp, or something, something. But no matter what one is doing, you must do it with empathy. You must do it with that feeling for the people. Like this one now, at least allow them to take out all their properties. Then beyond that also is that who are the estate? Who sold that estate? Who built the estate? Who sold the estate? Have those people been punished? You cannot destroy people's houses without punishing, without punishing the person that built the houses. You cannot, let me repeat myself, you cannot destroy people's houses without one going to punish the people who built the houses, the people who built the estate, the people who sold that estate land to them. That they, Those people need to be prosecuted. And then also, who are the people who gave approval for the building? For every building, there's always an approval that you have to get. There was even a time I said to, I think when they were talking about, you know, these uh, uh, buildings falling down, uh, buildings falling down, people being, I said, look, as long as the people who give permission for buildings are not prosecuted, then it will not stop. And I can tell you, these people will frustrate your life, especially when they see you. Uh, your papers are clean. You're trying to get your permit. There was a, a particular permit that we took almost 
almost two years just trying to get it. They will use it to do like this. They will use it to do like this. They will frustrate you because all they're looking for is money. And then the person who is doing the wrong thing, of course, we just bring money now. Even when you're building, like when you're doing your, your decking, you reach, like you're doing story buildings, you're doing your decking. They are supposed, the way it is, the people from there are supposed to come and check. Right from when you're doing your, your foundation, when they're supposed to come and check, what are you using? What kind of material are you using? Are they the right material? Are they the right material? They, some of us, they don't even come. They don't bother. You'll be, you'll be the one to be, go and be dragging them to say, oh yeah, come, because we need to get this here. I need you to satisfy. So if, if the people who give this permission, if the people who are employed by government to check these things, to check their buildings, to ensure that people are not building in the wrong places, they are also not prosecuted, then you have no business going to destroy people's houses. Because most times these people, they bought these uh, houses from estate uh, developers. They bought this and this estate, some of them will just go and get anyhow kind of approval. You will check, you will do all sorts of things. They will just go and get anyhow kind of approval. And then you see these people, they will watch these buildings being built. They didn't stop them. They will allow people to buy these houses. And then when people get into there, yes, then they will now come and start destroying uh, do, do, those, those buildings. That's not fair. That's not the way it should be. They must punish those people. Those people also that give approval. Those people that went to build the estate, those people that developed the estate, those people that sold those estate to those people have to be poly because they ought to know that that land is, is not it's it's not um it's not supposed to be built on. Sometimes people change all sorts of things because maybe they have somebody in government, they can go and meet someone, they can do me. I always as a similar like this, eh? I always said, even right from when I was a child, anything that has to do with any crew care, whatever, I'm not interested. Extra money, money, what? Mm -mm. If it's one cover I have, may Allah bless that one cover. I will enjoy my one cover. Like, I don't even have, I don't have an expensive lifestyle. I don't live an expensive, I'm not looking for, oh, material, oh, this, mm -mm. whatever I have. If it's curry, I drink, I drink, I'm happy. I know I have my big mat, I will use it. So I don't get it. Sometimes you not be looking at you and say, oh, you, you are not the smart one. You are not smart. You are not this. You don't know how to. No, it's not about smartness. It's about doing the right thing. And honestly, estate developers who do also all of this nonsense, they also need to be punished. They absolutely need to be punished. And the people also, let me repeat, the people also who approve, who are in charge of, of approval, who are in charge of going around, because they're supposed to be going around to be checking, is anybody building where they are not supposed to build that? Is anybody doing something? How do you stay for years and allow people to build things? People buy those houses, people stay in there. And sometimes they will even go and check. When people want to buy this, and they go to this, where the official, uh, uh, housing control or whatever they, they 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 call them like in abuja they are called ages in kaduna they are called kajis that's why i normally do property those, those are the ones i i know their names i don't know what the ones in lagos and co are, are called people sometimes people will actually go to go and meet these people who are supposed to check approve and whatever okay kaduna has kasubda those are the development the age kajis are the ones who like land issue and all of that but when you're building is kasubda and those sometimes so on some of these places when you go there they will tell you that it's approved meanwhile it is one corner corner approval because somebody knows somebody the impunity and all of that if you have honestly if you are destroying people's houses you also need to prose prosecute and punish the estate developers the people that sold those houses to them the estate developers that sold those houses to them, and also the people that approved that building in the first place otherwise there's no justice that's not justice it hasn't been done thank you